After identifying where the pressure is coming from, Busquets was able to fake where he will go with the first touch, and then he quickly turns around to beat his man and avoid playing any backward passes. So Barcelona was able to get out with the ball on the ground and avoid the high pressure. Let's have a look at this from his perspective. Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will discuss how you can bust the midfield when playing as a defensive midfielder. As a defensive midfielder, you are responsible for connecting the back and forward lines. You need to find ways of picking up your teammates between the lines of the opposition. Here, three players were positioned between the lines. So Busquets performs this quick body feint of receiving the ball in order to open up a passing opportunity. Even if you are facing the other direction, you should be comfortable with doing such body feints to get rid of the pressure. Another good way to break the defensive shape of the opposition is to play some disguised passes. Busquets fake the pass towards the right side to open up the passing lane to Messi between the lines. When the opposition is not applying pressure, you need to push forward. Now that they started applying the pressure, a disguised pass between the lines will progress the attack. Your main focus should always be to play forward passes. You need to be agile enough to turn quickly in those situations. You will be receiving the ball under plenty of pressure most of the times. This means that you will always find yourself having easy backward passes opportunities. But what you need to do is to train yourself to be able to pick up the forward ones to progress the attacks. Performing scans and shoulder checks will allow you to turn around after receiving the ball just like Busquets did here to play a forward pass. Let's have a look at this from his perspective. I often talk a lot about the benefits of scanning in my videos, and I want to introduce you to Be Your Best, an amazing tool which is scientifically proven to improve your scanning. Be Your Best is a virtual reality training tool designed to improve players' cognitive performance. The main skill that Be Your Best trains is your scanning, but it is also used to improve players' vision, decision-making, and memory, allowing you to train these difficult skills from home anytime you want. In Be Your Best, you will play through over 800 scenarios recreated from real-life professional games, just like the clips that you will see throughout this video. Alongside the scenario training, the tool comes with a lot of added features to help you improve your performance. Your stats tracking hub allows you to monitor your performance over time, while position-specific training means you can work on your scanning from any area of the field. Finally, the replay analysis tool lets you look back at your training, seeing what you did wrong and where you can improve. Be Your Best has been used by both amateur and professional players all over the world, with Arsenal star Martin Odegaard having even trained with it during his injury period. It's also backed by science with a recent 9-week study seeing players who trained with it improve their scan rate by 28%. To get started with Be Your Best, all you need is a MetaQuest VR headset and a Be Your Best subscription. You can get 20% of your first month by using the code MITSUJR. To redeem this offer, click the link in the description, create your Be Your Best account, and choose your membership plan. Then apply the code at the checkout and start training right away. Playing one-touch passes in the midfield is really important. You may find yourself playing some backward passes at the beginning, but try to put yourself in multiple training scenarios where you can actually pick a forward pass. Then you can start working on new drills to pick up those passes. You need to be always available in the midfield whenever your teammates are under pressure. To work on the first touch passes, you need to learn how to receive the ball properly. As you can see in these examples, the critical scan concept is really important. Here, Busquets performed a scan towards the right side, then used this critical scan to check his left shoulder. Therefore, he was able to identify where the pressure was coming from, performed the body feint, and progressed the attack. When comparing between the scans and the body orientation, the Econo Coaches Academy believes that scans are actually more important. If you ask me, what is more, much more important, body angle or turn your head? In my opinion, it's uh, much more important than your head. Be able to turn your head. Football, even if you have a good, orienta a good body orientation, football is changing every second. I really recommend that you guys watch this full webinar as it follows nicely with the concepts explained in this video. You can use the code MITSUJR when signing up from the link in the description. Performing critical scans will directly enhance your decision making. 
Here, Busquets saw Messi during his critical scan, then performed the disguised pass since the passing lane was not open. Here again, he wanted to switch the play, but he saw that no forward runs are performed on the left flank, so he was able to keep the possession and play the ball between the lines. Even if you are not able to play a forward pass, receiving the ball properly will allow you to adjust to anything happening around you, and more importantly, avoid losing the ball. Performing scans and critical scans will allow you to pick even more forward passes. Busquets was able to cover the ball properly and then play the pass. Let's have a look at this from his perspective. You need to concentrate on identifying all the possible passing options whenever you drop down to receive the ball from the center backs. And also, look to switch the play towards the flanks when the opposition is applying a zonal system or using a low block. This video is brought to you by Play by Metrica Sports, the fundamental tool for every coach and analyst. Create and manage all your video analysis in one platform. Use the coupon MitsuJR at the checkout for a 10% discount. As a defensive midfielder, you need to understand and apply the concept of the cover man, in a sense that you will be close enough to intercept the ball if your teammates lose the possession. This also applies to being the extra man when applying pressure to take the advantage of the positioning of your teammates. By understanding this, you will be able to win plenty of balls directly after your team has lost the possession, or get straight up interceptions when applying the pressure behind the ball owner, in order to keep the defensive line compact obviously. You need to control your on and off the ball movements, carry the ball forward if the opposition is not applying high pressure, and open up passing opportunities whenever you play a backward pass, to help the center backs or the keeper get around the pressure applied. While attacking, you should also carry the ball and look for any forward runs if you are not facing pressure from the opposition. As mentioned earlier, playing in that possession means that you will welcome plenty of pressure from the opposition. Applying all the concepts discussed in this video will help you get an extra edge on the opposition. You can see in these examples how Busquets is being pressed by multiple players, yet he is able to keep the possession of the ball. Remember that any mistake in that possession means that you may concede a goal directly from a way or another. So if you believe that you need to work on more basics of the defensive midfield possession, you can watch the video on the screen right now. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.